Hey everybody, I'm here with Hissy McBumblebutt again, asking questions. Um, this is my male hog nose that I've had. As you can see, he's starting to really lose weight. I don't... He has not eaten in several months now. Um, this is about all he does. I don't know if you can hear. him hissing and about all he can do is hiss for about a day or two and that's all he does. Um, this is a temporary feeding cage right now. Uh, this is usually his cage with that big hydrock in it. His temperatures are correct, his humidity is correct, he's got plenty of water. He just doesn't want to eat. Um, I've tried some appropriate food items. This is a pinky rat. Um, not too big, not too small, not the right size. It's a little dry because it's been in here all day now. But uh, if you can see, that all he does is hiss. He doesn't even strike at it, it just strikes and bumps. And if I leave it in there, it just rots. And I waste so many of them every single week. And I can't, I can't just, uh, there he goes, musking everything again. Um, starting to get worried, because he's about half of the size that he was this time last year but uh... I don't know don't know what else to do I've been keeping him whenever I feed him shooey boy you stink yeah nothing much came out did it huh cause you don't have any food in you yeah just a little bit of pee and that's it boy you need to eat you know what you need to eat but, uh, I keep him in the feeding tub overnight, just in case he'll eat, which he never does. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, that stinks. Pewee, buddy. So. That stinks worse. You or that rat in the morning. Uh, yes, I've tried mice, I've tried rats, I've tried a full-grown mouse, which is really big. I've tried a pinky mouse. I, oh, it really stinks. Um, I have tried frogs. Uh, um, I was even able to, lucky enough, to find a, uh, 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 get a baby corn snake uh, that had died. Didn't want that. Didn't want... Uh, what else did I try? I think I tried a salamander. Didn't eat that. Um, pretty much running out of opportunities here, actually. But uh, it used to be, even in that cage, you put it up on his rock and it'd be gone in the next morning. But doesn't seem. To, oh man, that stinks. Um, doesn't seem to want to do it anymore. So, kind of reaching out to you guys. As you can see, he's. Well, you can't really see too much. He's all puffed up, but um, he's only about half the size that he used to be. He was close to 100 grams uh, this time last year. I think it was like 87 or 90. Uh, he's probably only about 50 right now. So worried a little bit because the female is the exact opposite. I can't even go in her cage without her shooting out with her mouth up and looking for food so <laughs> but uh, anyway I'm gonna put him back and uh, probably pick off that uh, that rep pup in the morning and uh, it'll be bloated and bad and I'll have to throw it away so uh, I don't know of anything else if he had good weight on him I'd just cool him off but he doesn't have good weight on him so uh, his temperature 
I've tried mid 80s, I've tried 90, it's, I've even tried higher, and I think right now it's a little bit warmer. Uh, I thought that maybe the Aspen was blocking it, so I took 90% of it out. Uh, I've been trying a lot of things, and nothing seems to work, so any, uh, man that stinks. Any help you guys could give me would be appreciated, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey everybody, uh, I put Hissy up, and I covered his cage and everything. Um, he's still hissing. Uh, it's funny. I didn't start hissing until I started talking, so that's odd. Um, anyway, I had a really quick question on, I put cypress mulch in here. And uh, look at the levels of humidity. <laughs> Now I just put these water bucket or these water bowls in, so all this humidity was built up before that. Um, now I know ball pythons need some humidity. There's one little epigecko staring at me like, "What are you doing?" Um, I know they need some humidity, and that's why I went from aspen to that. Um, but I think that's going to be a little bit too much humidity if it's fogging up the sides. Uh, maybe I just don't know, and maybe that's perfect. Uh, they got plenty of ventilation, so let's go all the way around. Uh, so yeah, if you guys can give me some help, I'd appreciate that too. Um, let me see here. Oh, you shed today. I just fed you. Uh, the corns are getting big. Uh, you're going to see what I mean about this hog nose. No, she's not going to this time. Usually I open up that tub... And she shoots out of there with her mouth open. <laughs> but, uh, she's not today, thank goodness, because she's full and fat and happy. But, uh, this 20 gallon long is, uh, starting to not be suitable for you, bud. Um, my other 20 long is here with Casper, who just shed yesterday as well. Gotta get that out. She's still got a respiratory infection, but uh, still hungry, so letting her get over that. So, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, if you can give me help with those two things, that'd be appreciated. So, talk to you guys later.